Okay, here we go. Um, here's the situation. We just had a big fight right in here. Another fight in here. And then uh, my general here, Carl Philip, decided it was very important to, by himself, go and uh, t uh, approach the uh, port here in, uh, in Genoa. Because, well, I have no dexterity and clicked, clicked a button I didn't want to click. Such are the fortunes of war. That army has no general, and that's why none of his, none of these boys are healing. You have to have a general. If you're in the field, you have to have a general. And I don't have any general, and I don't have enough money to buy one. So, that said, is the other situation. This army, General Mortier, is leading a flanking maneuver around the bulk of my armies. But this Russian army might actually do something. We may actually see the, the Russians get in a fight here. Uh, and that's Kutasov, so that's got to be a good army. All right, well, these armies are pretty, these enemy armies are pretty torn up because I've been beating the snot out of them. So I will uh, take this, my last army, a totally green army of almost all infantry and uh, okay it did, it sucked in an, a French army it looks like that, that army right there and they got this terribly mauled uh, northern Italian army which is, well, it looks like it's about half strength. And then a fairly well-equipped army that will start coming onto the map immediately. I don't see how they say that I'm not favored to win this, having a full army. Oh, it's because I have no guns and have so little cavalry. It's going to depend largely upon my infantry which will <laughs> mop the floor with all of these guys uh, they do have some grenadiers some guards actually but not enough but right, let's do this who would have thought that I would be this close to taking uh, a northern Italian stronghold. After just a few turns ago, it was stacked super high with French and Italian troops. But here I am. Okay, the Battle of Milan, 1806. All right. Now it says that those are dragoons. I don't know why. Are they dismounted? Where are they? There. They don't appear to be dismounted. It's just unusual to see cavalry listed at the end. They're probably terrible. But still, I will group my cavalry together what there is, and the rest of it is infantry. That is a lot of infantry, all right. The Italian army is there. 
I can probably safely assume that the French army won't be coming up behind me. From behind me. Maybe they will. But... And frankly, that is a sufficient enough setup. I am going to put cavalry on each wing. All right. Well, that was easy. coming from all right they're coming from my right interesting that's some quality troops too all right get back um. how about if we do something nutty like this How far out do I have these guys going? Pretty far. I think that, uh, I'll speed things up a little bit until those cavalry look like they're going to try to mess with me. Although that would be pretty laughable because they're so mess, their cavalry are so massacred right now. These guys are kind of out of a job. These four guys. So I will set them up that way. Alright, we're starting to straighten out now, I think. These cavalry are just itching to do something. Oh, my boys are shooting. Nice. Good, good. Oh, these are all like light infantry units all stacked up together. How oh, very cute. I do have time. Although I 
I think I will give those guys a retreat order in case these French decide to do anything clever. This unit is getting bigger and bigger. Alright. Some of their guys are starting to rout. That's probably one of their bigger units. shooting at us but I think we're okay those boys are gonna start are gonna come online pretty quickly not sure what the French are waiting for or if they're waiting all these light infantry units are shooting that's good shooting into the flank no less that's good guys are starting to shoot now yeah what what I want you guys to do is to come right in here so that all of my guys can shoot at you infantry are falling about to fall on my flank guns over here that aren't shooting. I appreciate that. Don't you charge over here. Get up that hill.
notice you're not shooting at anybody. Oh, there are a couple guns there. Oh, that's too bad. I routed both those guns. Oh. Okay, keeping those guys at bay, that's all good. Good. can probably come over here to talk to these guys. We have lots of guys shooting. That's good. your leadership abilities of those guys. Go and snake that guy. Hello. Splat. Thanks for coming. quality caliber cavalry so he's not gonna stick around very long. Oh so those guys came over to fire into my flank did they? Very kind. Lasted long enough to route that guy. All good. Forgot to bring up my other cavalry unit, but that's okay. These guys didn't route. Nice. Okay. It does look like the northern Italians have finally run out of gas. We'll back these guys up a little bit in the face of the French if they're going to press. They're tired. Dead. Okay. What's going on over here? Anything in particular? I 
have asked this guy to shoot this guy three times now. There's a cavalry unit over there that is allowing me to shoot at it. I appreciate that. Northern Italian troops are fleeing. Oh, that's not what I intended. You guys, minus this guy, move forward. cavalry dudes. Alright, we have a, a weak spot in my line. That's okay. my little unit over here. Hungrily, hungrily looks at that French unit sitting out there in the open. Wow, that is a bold positioning right there. these guys come over here fire. Really? Well, good thing I have a cavalry unit over here.
routing lots of French and Northern Italian troops. Alright, this line is starting to look like spaghetti. So let's rearrange things. Oh, those are infantry that busted up my guy. guys didn't last but those guys are pretty well torn up all right a, a cannon you say is that what I heard a cannon two cannons three cannons trace cannons <laughs> My attempt to invent a language on the spot fails miserably. Ah, oh, the enemy general died. You guys turn around and face that French unit. Oh, you want a taste? Not optimistic. I think I'm about to lose my other unit of cavalry to this this unit here, which has no business only being very tired and should be exhausted. But whatever. Push that guy out of the way, please. Okay. All these guys rallied. 36 guys left. Exhausted, of course.
they were being shot by cannons. I can't imagine why they find that <laughs> difficult to deal with. What? How did you rally? Lobster shell. There we go. Let's just make it abundantly obvious what we're doing. We're going to come and surround you with lots and lots of dudes. Starting to pour it on. Another gun bites the dust. <laughs> I don't mind. <coughs> I don't mind shooting you until you route. That's okay. That seems good in my book. Leader routed finally. All those guys have routed. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. What's going on over here? to beat the angle, but makes me feel good to have those guys over there. <coughs> Excuse me. I think all of those guys are going to keep on running. Oh, that guy routed. Okay. And that is that. <laughs> Two more armies ruined. Thank <laughs> you. 
I could sit there and just besiege the place and make them attack me. Consolidate some of these troops. Do do do. My cavalry will be shot up, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Okay. I can't, that's right. This army here is almost healed up. But they can't afford to fix their buildings. Whatever happened to, like, seizing the... <laughs> seizing the uh, baggage train and finding all the loot... I guess that's a bit too historical for a video game. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I have this army down here. What the heck to do with this army? I was not sure if I should take the grid back from the Spanish yet. Uh, I knew there was a reason not to, but I've I've kind of forgotten what it was. There's a couple guns here to pick up, so I can have a couple guns in my army. Here it is. I'll shift out these inexperienced dudes. Okay, I'll go back to the town for now. All right. Not a lot of cavalry, but ridiculously good infantry. I do have all those guys sitting there. But at this point, with Prussia having declared war on me, it might be wise to uh, fortify as well, almost with nothing else. building anybody there. Uh, that's right, money is a problem now, I forgot. Okay. Research, almost research to money. Technology, that's good. Alliances, they look to be about the same. All right. Let's see who else have I got to move. My spy. Going up to see what's happening in Paris. Oh! The nerve! Bring your army around to go after my general? I don't think so. Alright. Dude, I think you're screwed. I don't think there's any escape for you. Pity. I'm not going to play the keep away game because you're, frankly you're not worth it. You're the worst 
I mean, you have some experience. You've been in a battle, but you're also a three-star general in this sense. And I'm not going to play a ridiculous game. Did you do some damage? Not really. Jerk. I'm not going to surrender. Bring your crap through here again and get crushed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. Lancers and heavy cavalry. Lots of lots of cavalry. You're attacking a city. So the real question will be will I have any buildings to hide my guys in? If I do, then all your cavalry becomes superfluous, meaning your infantry have to win the fight. I have no, I have no cavalry over there. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Mm. The Battle of Olmots. The Second Battle of Olmots. Olmots. 1806. It was earlier this year that they attacked there last time. And it looks like they've given me no buildings to hide in because apparently Olmutz is not a city. It's just a, an open prairie. Okay. They're over there. That means I want to hunt. I want to. I want to be way over here. <sighs> hmm. Units that can form a square. That's it. Four units that can form a square. And everybody else. Probably take this rock formation and do it to some use. Can't get flanked. And these guys, these guys all sign up over here. Oops. Trying to make it perfect. Yep, they'll see this unit here and try to hit it with their cavalry. Bring it. Oh, this is the leader unit, so I'm going to bring him over here. So that they don't pick on that side as much. Actually, I can't, I can't get up on top of this thing. That would have been neat. Alright, well, let's speed things up because they're going slow. <sighs> I assume they're going to attack. And they're not just standing there waiting for me to attack them. Why isn't their leader moving?
I think they're waiting for me to attack them. In which case I will be fast forwarding through all of this. Because I'm not going to attack them and I'll win when the time runs out. But it really looks like they're not moving my direction. I wish there was a super speed for when the computer takes this strategy. It's like there is a setting that refuses to acknowledge that there's a time limit. I refuses to acknowledge that I will sit here through the entire battle and not attack. But Pretty sure they're not coming. Pretty sure they're going to sit there and wait for me to attack. <sighs> they would have won, too. Because half my army wouldn't stand getting hit by a hacky sack. Right. Well, I will come back after this uh, ridiculousness is now over. So stay tuned. Okay, well that went as expected. The Prussians did not attack. So I just sat there until time ran out and won. Um, no casualties. Uh, and then uh, the Northern Italian turn came and uh, they are attacking my besieging force. Uh, they have... Uh, all citizen militia on their front line um, led by Giuseppe Mosca and then they have a reinforced unit of uh, looks like grenadiers under Giuseppe Lice and then Marshal Mar, Mar I think he's a marshal. He may not be a marshal in 1806, but August Mar, Mar, Marmont with, with a, a unit of uh, kind of beat up guys. He does have one really strong unit of heavy cavalry and a really strong unit of <laughs> the first division of the Imperial Heavy Guard Infantry. Okay. So, uh, let's do this. Let's, uh, wipe them out. All of them. I'll be on defense. I don't have any guns. No, just masses and masses of infantry. And I don't think I'll have any other defensive advantage except the fact that I'm on defense and I might have a nice hillside to set up on yes my cavalry units are shot up but they might uh, save the day in some situation someplace It's nice that they get buildings and they're attacking, so they don't, they won't even look twice at them. Well, I guess that makes sense. They would have buildings because 
they are sallying forth from the city to attack me. Um, how do I want to do this? I'm definitely going to sit as far back as I can. I think. Unless I just want to defend this this area. That'd be nutty. Make them come into the trees. Another vastly inferior force. Alright. Well, let's try to divide up the smaller units better this time. Uh, okay. How's that look? Not too shabby. And then the cavalry. But there is of it. going to keep out of the fight as long as I can. I don't know their cannon situation. I don't remember. I don't think they have much in the way of cannon. So that's okay. They don't, they're not going to use it. Any, they're barely going to use it at all anyway, if they do have it. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Now that I've made sure that their reinforcements are coming in on that side and not behind me, I will uh, I will go ahead and start setting up my guys. in the trees. These are very small units out here. I'm going to set these guys back a bit. Cavalry. Yep. So there are new units, all the uh, new reinforcements they're going to get are going to have to travel an extreme diagonal all the way across the square battlefield, square shaped battlefield. So, uh, I suspect they will be tired. If they want to catch up to the fight in any, with any kind of timing, <laughs> maybe they don't. Well, I can speed. 
speed things up a bit. Now the uh, the first wave, their front line troops are all infantry, quote infantry, and they all have a max morale of ten and no official general. So they will get uh, smoked if they engage uh, regular troops. Say what you will about the Austrians, they're far more regular than uh, a citizen militia. These guys are stacked up kind of thick, I think. Slow it down. My guys are out of alignment. Why are you guys out of alignment? Try and stay in the woods. Come get a taste. Let's bring your militia up. I must shoot your militia. I just have to keep an eye on cavalry that will come out of nowhere. Look for the French flags. And here we go. I have some light infantry who are shooting. Oh, these guys are all fat too. Not efficient, guys. Not efficient. Loosen up. I can already tell where I'm going to want my cavalry. I'm going to want them over here. Who's charging? Oh, their general. 
getting into the thick of things. It's very brave. You're not going to make me form square if you have 17 guys. feel for you city folks you probably wanted no part of this fight the Italian overlords pushed you out there threw a gun in your hand and said now's your chance and that was their general and that general actually came on the map after the initial start up, start up. Yep. Tired and very tired. the distance I believe there are some French cavalry units coming up yep don't know how they got damaged I don't know why they're just standing there but okay They're starting to break. Even if they rally. of their units are just not going to last very long. Okay, the leader rallied. Oh, they might tire my troops out for when the real battle fuck comes, but... Really? Alright, I'll go. I'll kill your leader. Thank you for dying this time. Okay. Some of their guys are rallying, but and this guy is trying to come out on my flank. What that's worth. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, the French are just kind of sitting out there. Okay. Um, maybe the French aren't going to attack. Maybe they're only going to attack if we somehow got beat by these. <laughs> this rebel. Noticing my boys have to worry about us getting tired. But as we're not really planning on moving anywhere. I could plow up the whole line with cavalry. If only I had some. Got tired of waiting. And the line begins to fold.
I don't think the friends are coming. They seem to be content to just sit back here and do nothing. The other general died. Aww. The other enemy general, that is. And push those guys out of the way, please.
impact of it. They're only tired. I figured they'd be exhausted. <laughs> Push those guys out the way, please. Thank you very much. Almost all of them are routed. <coughs> to the best of my knowledge, the French are still sitting out there. I still see on my small map I still see this uh, this French heavy heavy cavalry horse guards uh, they call them guards cuirassiers sitting out here just kind of chilling. I don't know why they, a couple of them have died, but that's some bad French food or something. Actually, we're in Italian. I mean, and maybe they're not used to spaghetti or the uh, linguine was too much for them, or... I don't know, some damn fine food. Oh, really? You guys are going to maneuver in front of gunfire. Okay. Oh, please. Just route. <laughs> Life would be so much easier if you just routed. I don't think my boys are the best shots, but. They just have to be better than yours. Now the rest of my army rests. If nothing else, I really appreciate this opportunity to uh, shoot your guys. To 
blow holes in all these units that are going to have to face the onslaught next round. Yeah, it doesn't look like the French are coming. They're just gonna chill. And let all these partisans and untrained folks take the brunt of the activity. You guys need to rout. Really just need to rout. army rests for an attack that is almost certainly not coming. <laughs> Wavering, exhausted, not shooting back, just kind of moving around, getting shot at, making me waste my ammo. But I am killing them, just kind of slowly. Why won't they just route? This unit. Over here, charge over there. Thank you. Hey, they routed. up the game now and it doesn't seem to me that the French are coming they're fresh they have heavy cavalry they're just not a very large unit but the uh, northern Italians will not be there to uh, help you anymore both their generals are dead and all their troops are routed and they ain't coming back. So, it looks like General Marmont is uh, afraid of what lies before him, and he should be. I've lost no units. I still have plenty of ammunition to take on a small unit. And, yeah. I lost some guys, but nothing like what I inflicted.
This is another one of those situations where the attacking force decides not to attack. They're going to sit there and wait for me to attack them. And I don't need to. I'm laying siege. It is your responsibility to break the siege. Right now you've just succeeded in weakening your garrison. So that the siege will be substantially easier now. And you won't be able to do this again because all your boys will be wasted this round. So next I will take North Milan next turn or on my turn. So once again I will be fast forwarding through this fight so that you folks don't have to sit here and watch the French fail to move. To see General Marmont hesitate. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll just say good night. This is Jomo Rising signing off.